Hi, I'm Hiroki Sato from University of Tokyo. I'm so glad to have a chance to give a talk here. I'd like to talk about new results from our current research on evolution of hashtags on a social network service. Traditionally, discussions on evolution have focused on biological systems. However, a l i f e requests us to extend this discussion to non biological systems. Because understanding of life as it could be requires us to understand not only biological but also non biological evolution. So, we need good examples of non biological evolution, and there have been several studies that looked at evolution of non biological systems such as culture, technology, and language. For example, in a life community, Beto and his colleagues have studied evolution of technologies, and they showed technologies evolved through Darwinian evolution, and there are so called、uh, door opening innovations, which spawned future technologies across categories. Also, we've been working on evolutionary dynamics of、uh, social network services or SNSs. SNSs are systems that temporarily change in response to internal and external events, and we think such dynamics of SNSs can be a candidate for study subjects of non biological evolution. So far, for instance, we have shown a potential evidence for open ended evolution of hashtags on SNSs. Then, the aim of this study is to discover more patterns and mechanisms of hashtag evolution. Hashtags have been intensively studied through statistical analysis and stochastic, stochastic models, but、uh, studies from, from the perspective of ev-、uh, evolution is rare. In this study, we examined the evolution of hashtag use by taking a unique approach. That is, we consider SNS posts as analogous to biological individuals, and hashtag sets used,、uh, attached to SNS posts as Genomes of individuals. Then we virtually constructed a family tree of SNS posts by defining、uh, pseudo parent offspring re- relationships、uh, among posts. For analysis, we obtained an empirical dataset from an interior photo sharing SNS called Room Clip. The obtained dataset included photo ID, timestamp, and tag ID. For all posts published in 2012 to 2019. In addition to the empirical data, we also examined evolution of tags in two stochastic models. One of the models is the application of the Uli Simon model to tagging systems, so we call this model as a Uli Simon tagging model. The Uli Simon model generates a series of elements. In this study, the generated elements are tags. In the process of generation of tags, new tags are generated with probability alpha, and pre existing tags are regenerated with probability 1 minus alpha. In the other case,、uh, pre existing tags are randomly chosen from the existing series of tags, so tags that have used more often are more likely to be regenerated. This effect is called preferential attachment, and it is expected. This effect functions as selective, selective force on tags. Another tagging model is called random tagging model. In this model,、uh, pre existing tags, tags had uniform probability to be reused, so this model does not have any、uh, selective force. Based on those two models, we designed simulations to mimic the empirical data. In simulations, the number of trials was said to be the same as the number of posts in empirical data, and the number of tags generated in each trial was also said to be the same as the number of tags attached to each real post. Also, instead of setting fixed probability alpha, the simulations generated new tags when new tags were used in real posts. So the size of total tag vocabulary. In simulations, was also the same as that of the empirical data. Only difference between real and simulations was how pre existing tags were chosen. 
With those data sets, we constructed family trees of posts. First, we defined the generation of posts by simply dividing the time series of data sets. In this study, we defined one generation as seven days. Second, we connected the posts in adjacent generations by parent-offspring relationship. The definition of parent-offspring relationship is based on similarity of tag sets between posts. Parents of a post, of a post in generation G is defined as posts in generation G-1, which have the most similar tag set to the offspring post. As a similarity measure, we use the Jakarta index because it is simple and easy to interpret the resulted value. And this is the part of the resulted family tree. Because it is very huge and very complex, we couldn't visualize the entire tree. So instead of observing this, we analyze the temporal change in distance between parent and uh, offspring and uh, fecundity of tag sets. First, to analyze the temporal change in distance between parent and offspring, we looked at the distribution of Jacquard index. This figure shows a frequency distribution of Jacquard index for every 10 generations. According to this figure, we can say that the distribution of Jacquard index moved from a high value to low value. This suggests the similarity between parents and offspring decreased uh, and parents and offspring become more distant. This implies that divergence of tag sets accelerated. Yuli Simon tagging and uh, random tagging also showed decrease of Jakarta index. In the case of random tagging, the distribution is concentrated at, at the jacquard index equal to zero, suggesting most of the simulated posts didn't have any parents. This is because since random tagging doesn't have any selective force on tags, as tag vocabulary grew, use of similar tag sets in adjacent generation becomes rare. In Yuli Simon tagging, although the distribution is concentrated at low value, there are still Post which has high jacquard index with parents. This suggests uh, some of the tag sets are inherited. The clear separation of distribution between high and low jacquard va index value implies strongly biased selection to certain tags due to preferential attachment. Compared to simulations, the empirical data is more like Yuli Simon tagging than random. However, the empirical data doesn't show clear separation of inherited and non-inherited tag sets. This suggests uh, selection in real tagging is less biased compared to Yuli Simon tagging. Also, distribution at uh, 0.75 in the empirical data indicates minor change of tag sets, and this suggests tags are inherited as modules too. Yuli Simon doesn't have distribution at this range because preferential attachment only works on individual tags. Next, we analyzed fecundity of tag sets. In biological evolution, individuals with selected genotype can have high fecundity. We looked at our hashtag datasets to see whether the same thing is happening in the evolution of hashtags. On this figure, the vertical axis represents week that each posts were made. The horizontal axis represents week that parent's tag set was first used. And the color represents density of data points. According to this figure, highest density of data points are located near the vertical axis. This suggests uh, most of offspring were born from parents with tag sets first appeared in early weeks of the service. Also, there are vertical bands of high density area. This means that at some points of the service, highly reproductive tag sets appeared. These tag sets can be considered as selected tag, uh, tag sets or genotype with high fecundity. In contrast, random tagging showed high concentration of data points along the di diagonal line 
and has no vertical bands. In, gen in random tagging, uh, which doesn't have any function of selection and inheritance, reappearance of pre-existing pre tag sets become rare as the size of tag vocabulary increases, and tag sets of parents are likely to be new tag sets just the first, for, just the first appeared. Uli Simon tagging showed the similar distribution of data points to the empirical data. The horizontal gradation of data points, uh, data point density is due to preferential attachment, which makes older tags uh, reused more often because they have more chance to have been used. Such preferential attachment functions as selective force and makes certain tag sets to have outstanding fecundity. The difference in the distribution of data points between the empirical data and the Uli Simon tagging implies uh, their selection works differently. Although Uli Simon model is commonly used to model the uh, tagging system, our result indicates that uh, Uli Simon model does not model the evolutionary dynamics of real tagging systems. To sum up, we have tried to discover pattern and mechanisms of uh, hashtag evolution by making analogy to biological evolution. As a result, we first found that there is selection on hashtag evolution. Existence of selection on se selection has been reported from various non-biological systems, and our result shows hashtags are also part of those systems evolving with selection. Also, we found that the divergence of tag sets accelerated Similar biological examples can be such as dinosaur and mammal adaptive radi radiation. For future study, we would like to uncover the underlying mechanisms of accelerated divergence and also create a new tagging model with selection. And then we are looking for a better way to build family tree and also definition of uh, parent-offspring relationship. We thank to JSPS Kakenhi for financial support and to Room Clip Inc. for offering such beautiful datasets. Uh, thank you for listening.